Hello friends, greetings from Iceland. This rock fell here from the space. It's a meteorite. No, I'm joking, it's not meteorite. And, and it didn't fall from the space. It's just rolled over from this mass here, separated, it's lava piece. It's a big lava rock, palagonite lava rock. It's lava, which was processed by the glacier. It was under the glacier and uh, it got this kind of uh, surface, very rough, beautiful surface. This is lava with tephra, mix it with uh, pieces of uh, tephra. You see it formed here, it erupted here on the top. There was eruption here under the glacier. And then through centuries, through a few thousand years, uh, maybe through the vent, it's rolled down here or, or was carried by the melting glacier because there was a glacier. When glacier was retreating, it uh, moved this rock because it's on the top of the other lava rock. You see, it's lava on the lava. So it's rolled over on the lava through centuries. Don't you find it impressive? <laughs> Uh, not many people know about this because it's a kind of a small walk to get to this rock You see and it's kind of suspended in the in the air, you know, is a Is hanging in the air a sort of you see How huge it is. It's enormous in size And there are quite many of uh, those uh, Boulders of this shape here around Palagonite boulders, they are unique. You don't find them in elsewhere in Europe. You need glacier and lava to to get those types of rocks. Probably Martian terrain is the closest to this one. At least scientists say so that Martian terrain is uh, something like this. You see. What did you find there? Water. It's water is dropping there, you see? There's a water drop in here. And where it's coming from, it's a big mystery. No, it's a kiss probably is uh, because it's quite wet, there was rain, still a, a kind of uh, melting still. So this is Palagonite Wonderland. Here, uh, between uh, uh, Reykjavik and Kveragerdi. Not many people know about this wonderland. Uh, Nina, stand here, move here, it's, it's, uh, just to show you uh, how it is suspended in the air. No, no, here. Yeah, you see, it looks like if you stand here, it looks like it's it's a bomb. It looks like it's a lava bomb. Quite special. Huge lava bomb. It is a lava piece. It's a big lava piece. Suspended in the air. So... And look here, this one as well. Yeah, this one. There's a lot, lots of them, you see. And through centuries, probably some of them will roll down. So this is not over yet. There will be more rocks like this. So in a few hundred years, probably, they will be carried down by wind and water. This one is also unique. Beautiful color. This is Iceland, real Iceland. It's Mars, actually. It's the most similar terrain to Mars, is probably here. So, if you wish to visit Mars, just buy tickets to Iceland and come here to Stura Sandfat from. Uh, from Frank Schlavegor, 
you'll get here in two, three hours. Palago Night Wonderland. That's where we are. So there you see, if Icelandic people watching my channel, there you recognize, recognize um, uh, Hatlis Hazy Birkin. This Hatlis Hazy power plant. And here you see Lampafetle uh, uh, Noma, the mine, where the mine rocks. It's just here, you see. It's so close to Lampafetle Noma, I just walk across. And uh, that is Lampafetle behind there. Uh, lump of mountain, the lamb mountain. So that's where we are in uh, Lava Wonderland. All the best to you. See, it's beautiful valley here as well. See, it's like sand, 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 sand. It's all mountain like this, see? So now I will launch the drone. It's like you can walk a miles like for this for this terrain. So all the best thing.